was requested and it is about men not wanting to date anyone that already have children <laughs> oh boy 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 that one right here hit me in the gut okay because I am a single mother and I've been a single mother since age 15 so I was in that era where um, you didn't have children out of wedlock okay uh, back then we we had morals and values of, you, you felt a certain kind of way if you ended up pregnant and you weren't married okay without giving out my age <laughs> anyway I I experienced this and it was not a good experience because we had the values and because our parents taught us to not accept certain things uh, our men, our young men at that time were taught you don't take on a ready-made family. Alright? Meaning don't date a young lady or even think of her becoming your wife if she already has children. Okay? Yeah, it was like that. That caused a lot of issues. I mean, I can't put it another kind of way. I, I, then I don't ever want to say that it ruined my life or, the, or anything like that because looking back, I'm glad that I had my children when I had my children. Um, so, no, they are not mistakes in my eyes. They are true blessings, and I love each and every one of them. Even when they act nut. <laughs> okay. Um, is it unfair to have those thoughts or, you know, standards values or choices no it's not it's not wrong uh, we are in a free America and that's the reason that word was made choice because we have them now on the flip side of that I mean, because I don't really think I need to expand on that part of it. On the flip side of that, when you do choose that, you may lock yourself out of a good woman or a good man, okay? Because this is um, experienced on both sides. More side with the gentleman choosing not to have a ready-made family because of the issues that may come along with that you know the child's father or the the child's mother may be not mature enough to handle the fact that their relationship is no longer in existence so it may cause problems in in your you guys' relationship. Okay, so that's one reason. The the other reason is because you know not only do you lock yourself out of a good woman or a good man that may be just the one that that 
God has appointed for you. You know, maybe some things happen, as in my case, maybe some things happen, you know, that got in the way and, and I did things that, and did sins, okay, let's call it what it is, did sins that we had absolutely no business doing, whether you were educated or not, on, on sexual education, okay, You got caught up. It, it is what it is. I got caught up. Some other folks got caught up. Okay? And I went through a thing where I felt less than. Even when I got pregnant, my classmates treated me differently. I graduated on time, everything. But because of that stigma oh you know she got pregnant so she's unclean but let's keep it real my sin was just more out there because I got pregnant but trust and believe there were other young ladies that were engaging in the same activity. However, they didn't get pregnant. Okay? It just, it, it is what it is. And for a long time, you know, I felt shunned by my classmates. And this hurt me. I mean, because I was, um, I was a well-known cheerleader. I was captain of the, my cheerleading team as a freshman. I came up on the cheerleading team even before I got to high school. Uh, my summer of my eighth grade year, I was um, cheering with them. So I had a promising career. I was very good at gymnastics. That was supposed to be my Olympic um, start. I was good, okay? I was good at doing my, my gift. That was my gift, uh, was to do gymnastics. I was ballet dancer, modern dance, everything. And I screwed it all up. All right, let's just keep it 100. I'm trying to not do this in-depth video on this thing. Good God Almighty. But nevertheless, okay, I had my babies. One baby. I had my baby. And a uh, beautiful girl, beautiful baby girl. But when you do things like this, it's going to impact your life. You know, I, I missed out on a career. I missed out on marriage, you know, at that time. Uh, had I kept my values and my vir virtue, so I paid a hefty price for that. So there, there is good and bad with this, okay? Um, I've never been married, again, because of the era that I grew up in, okay? And back to my point is it does not make you a bad person. Okay, whether you be male or female. You are not a bad person because you have children out of wedlock. Yes, it is a sin and you should not do it, but God forgives us for that. And I had to forgive myself for doing that. And I've, I'm, I'm still kind of wrestling with that but that's a whole nother video if you gotta want to hear about that just let me know in the comments and i'll get it up for you 
because I'm going through this thing where I'm kind of cleansing my my soul and, and all of that. So if you want some of that, let me know down in the comments. But I've met some great men and women that have shut that to the side and said you know what this is a good woman this is a great woman this is a great man they have great children and so what they already have children it's only going to enhance and enrich the relationship that they already have so matter of fact I posted up on Facebook where Steve Harvey honored his wife and he honored her in such a beautiful way I, I, I love when a man is not ashamed to cry especially when it's on on national television and he just emptied out his his whole feeling his whole how he felt about this beautiful woman that God had given him and he had a ready-made family already and she took on that ready-made family with love, with pride, with a nurturing hand. And th this is what I'm speaking of when I say that it's not a bad thing. If you let God put the person in your life that needs to be there, needs to be there not the person that you want there but the person that you need in your life it will make a tremendous difference in everything after that he said as much money as he had he wasn't happy until she came along so Again, the point of it all, and you guys go check that video out. It's on my Facebook page. And the point of all of this is keep your options open. If she has children, if he has children already, don't dismiss the fact that this could be the one you know especially if you've been single for uh, a number of years and you're really ready to uh, settle down and just have that family life you know especially if you're you know still young enough to where you can have children and you maybe can have children together um, but just keep your options open because the anointment of God it's not specific to oh you know yes they had children out of wedlock so they are they're tainted in some type of way because if he can forgive us certainly we can forgive each other so thank you so much my beauty for requesting this uh, subject of uh, topic to speak about if you guys have any that you would like for me to uh, speak on as well you already know that God is going to be interjected in it I do nothing without him all right so I'm at work now and um, yeah let me give you guys a little view of, of work hold on This is the way that I come in. I'm getting ready to turn now. And that's how you come in right there. This is again in, in Murphy, North Carolina. And this is everything that you see right there. I'm turning. 
we had a little um, meeting over there that's why you see the tent up over there and customer parking on this side and you go in in that door right over there and this is employee parking over here but our customers park over here as well and I will show you the door that we go in that is the door we go in right there and I'm going this way so I can find me a parking spot But all right, guys. So um, let me find a parking spot because I gotta get my little happy self in here. It's eleven fifteen, and um, we have a meeting to go to with um, every day at, at thirty minutes before your shift actually starts. But anyway, um, I hope that this is um, enriching to someone's life and it helps you to find uh, the person that God has for you because uh, there, is every, there is someone for everyone. Um, God want, wanted um, man and woman to be together um, so that you could procreate and um, he made man and he made woman and he made woman for man so that man would not be alone so with that being said you all have a great day have a blessed day love each other be kind to each other and I will see you in another video. And as always, this is Gina helping you to keep your feelings fancy beauty. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. And I'm just using any pink liver NYX one I used and I'm talking to you.